Cleared for takeoff. Here's the plan to get the 171 Boeing 737-9 MAX aircraft back into the air within a matter of days. And also, the increased heat and scrutiny that Boeing is once again going to feel from the FAA. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. Let's check it out. The January 5th Boeing 737-9 MAX incident must never happen again, according to the FAA. Well, technically, this is the third time, counting the first two MCAS disasters. Accordingly, the FAA is announcing additional actions to ensure every aircraft is safe. The FAA today informed Boeing it will not grant any production expansion of the MAX, including the 737-9 MAX. More on that in a minute. This action comes on top of the FAA's investigation and ramped up oversight of Boeing and its suppliers, specifically Spirit Aero Systems. The FAA today also approved a thorough inspection and maintenance process that must be performed on each of the grounded 171 Boeing 737-9 MAX aircraft. Upon successful completion, the aircraft will be eligible to return to service, and that should take a matter of days. This inspection shouldn't take much more than 8 to 12 hours for each aircraft. Following the completion of these inspections, the door plugs on the 737 MAX will be in compliance with the original design, which is safe to operate. And it is a good design. This was simply a assembly problem. This aircraft will not operate until the process is complete and the compliance with the original design is confirmed. And here's what they're going to check. An inspection of specific bolts, specifically these four bolts that hold the door plug into position, guide tracks and fittings. Detailed visual inspections of the left and right mid-cabin exit door plugs and dozens of associated components, retorquing fasteners, correcting any damage or abnormal conditions. So this should get the 171 grounded aircraft back in the air pretty quick, and hopefully the folks at United and Alaska Airlines, those two airlines that were impacted most by this grounding, will get reimbursed by Boeing for the millions lost in revenue due to this rather embarrassing assembly problem. As more of these quality escapes or lapses at Boeing are discovered and found, the FAA has laid out a series of actions to increase oversight of the Boeing's production line. The quality assurance issues we have seen are unacceptable, so they, they know what's going on there, and we're going to find out very soon what these lapses specifically are. This is why we'll have more boots on the ground, closely scrutinizing and monitoring production and manufacturing activities. Increased oversight activities include capping expanded production of the new Boeing 737 MAX aircraft, the entire line, to ensure accountability and full compliance with required quality control procedures. When all this stuff hit the rotating oscillating fan, Boeing was struggling to keep up a production rate of 31 to 38 aircraft per month because of all the problems they were having with their vendors out there at Wichita having to correct those problems back at Boeing Renton. But they plan to get the production level up to 50 aircraft per month by 2026. And that appears to be the rate that they need to be at in order to be profitable. They've been losing money on this endeavor since at least 2018. And they were hoping to get a revenue forecast of three to five billion for 2023. And I assume that's at a rate of 50 aircraft per month. But now the FAA is going to make sure that for now they can only produce about 31 to 38 aircraft per month. The FAA will be launching an investigation scrutinizing Boeing's compliance with manufacturing requirements. The FAA will use the full extent of its enforcement authority to ensure the company is held accountable for any non-compliance. And hopefully the FAA has the experienced staff on board in order to carry through with this plan. The FAA is ex aggressively expanding oversight of, the, of new aircraft and increased floor presence at all Boeing facilities, closely monitoring data to identify risk, and launching an analysis of potential safety-focused reforms around quality control and delegation. Boeing Aircraft also appointed retired Admiral Kirkland Donald, age 70, to be a special advisor to help investigate the quality management practices at Boeing. Admiral Donald comes from the Navy nuclear world and was instrumental in an investigation back in 2008 of a 2007 U.S. Air Force nuclear incident. 
Prior to this door story, the FAA was working on certification reform efforts as a result of the previous MCAS disasters, which included delegating less responsibility to manufacturers and increasing oversight when delegation is deemed appropriate. Remember, prior to the MCAS, the FAA delegated a lot of the responsibility of ensuring the quality of the product back to the manufacturer itself because the FAA at the time didn't have the resources or capability to do all the oversight itself, at least all the oversight that would have normally been delegated to the FAA. And one of the better improvements includes a volunteer reporting system which provides those who work in the FAA's aviation safety organization the ability to report confidentially any safety concerns without fear or punitive actions. Well, does this extend all the way out to the average line worker at Boeing and or Spirit Aerosystems? In deciding to go with another bite at the apple of the old Boeing 737 design, Boeing has been consistently losing billions of dollars to save dimes. Instead of just doing what so many of us in the industry suggested at the time that this decision was made, don't go for the 737. That's like taking your old house and trying to bring it up to modern building code standards. You take a 1960s design and try to keep it a common type certificate with that 1960s design and constantly work your way around modern improvements and requirements to aviation since that design first came out. Instead of just, why didn't you just take what we all suggested, the Boeing, the world's greatest transportation aircraft ever designed, the Boeing 757, redesign that, scale it appropriately for, for this mission that the 737 MAX is trying to fulfill and bring that design on a completely new sheet of paper up to a modern airline design. Instead, we've got this mess of trying to put a round peg in a square hole with the 737 MAX line of aircraft. It's just going to take a really long time to recover this whole situation. We've got, they've got over 4,000 of these aircraft yet to build. And again, the airlines, they, we have no choice now. The airlines have got to replace their older aircraft with newer, more efficient aircraft. And so they've got to see this all the way through to a logical conclusion. And as things continue to develop, we'll keep you posted here. Thank you so much for your support, especially the folks over on Patreon that make this content possible. See you here.